What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. In the last episode guys, it was our traditional either Ricky's going to LA or Zai's coming to the UK episode where we collab and tell you guys what we're going to be up to before one of us makes the trip. And as you're watching this video right now guys, I am actually in LA right now. This video is not actually recorded in LA, this video was recorded beforehand. But guys, if you are interested in seeing what I'm up to in LA and stuff like that check out the links in the description because i'm going to be posting a lot of stuff i'm going to be posting stuff on snapchat on twitter on instagram whenever i go to la I, i'm always really active on them things taking a lot of pictures a lot of videos and stuff like that so if you want to see that stuff and you're interested in that kind of stuff go check out all my social media links down below and also because we're going to be together now me and zai are literally going to be together for the whole holiday period we're talking thanksgiving christmas and even new years uh, from now to the end of the year to the start of next year we're going to be together so we, you're going to see a lot of vlogs on the ricky and zai channel and a lot of gameplay on the ricky and zai channel as well so go check out the ricky and zai channel check out all my social media if you are interested in seeing what i'm up to when i'm in america if you're not interested don't worry about it you're still going to get videos on the channel but if you are interested you can go check out that stuff as well but today guys we are going to be doing something very very important because not last episode the episode before i asked asked you guys what should i call trevor's wife because trevor has made a return and there was a bunch of comments in the comments section and one name made me laugh and i thought you know what i'm gonna use it and i think it was from lens or jens jens i think it was jens i'm not sure sorry if i got your name wrong but you said this trevelina <laughs> i thought that was a funny name so i'm definitely gonna call <laughs> trevor's wife Trevelina, yes that is what she is going to be called so let's go down there and name her i got a few things i need to do around the house today guys but as i did mention in a few episodes ago that because i'm in america and some of these videos are going to be pre-recorded they might not be as long as what you're used to they're not going to be super short but they're not going to be super long as well so um be prepared for that if we do have uh short uh, short ish episodes as well so let's go do it let's go name <clears throat> trevor's wife Trevelina, where's Trevor? Oh, I think is this no, that's Trevor. Trevor's on his own. Trevor, what are you doing, man? Are you are you feeling all right? Maybe he's sad. Maybe he's sad that I went to America. You just sitting there with your face in the wall. What are you doing that for? Anyway, right, Trevelina, are you ready? Bam! We can never get rid of Trevor and Trevelina. They are forever bounded. Have I got any wheat? I want to breed them. I want Trevor and Trevelina to make their first baby. That's what I want. Where, where's the wheat? Oh, I don't think I've got any wheat. Uh, let's go grab some. They, they definitely have to make their first baby on camera. And all of us watching this video now, we're going to watch, guys, all right? We're going to watch Trevor and Trevelina make their first baby. We're creeps. We're all creeps, all right? Don't blame us, but this is what you do on Minecraft. You breed animals and you watch them, mate. Where's, where's all my wheat gone? Oh, it's in my inventory. It was in my <laughs> inventory the whole time. Right, let's go do this. But guys, there's a few things that I need to actually show you that have happened that I didn't even notice on the server. And um, there's a little bug or a little annoyance that I need to fix in my house. Some of you may have noticed if you were spectating on the server, but if you weren't, you might not have noticed. Right, Trevelina, there we go. You've got that. Trevor, get at it. Make your first baby. Go for her. What's going on, you two? Kiss. Oh, there they go. Go on, Trevor. Oh, Trevor Jr. is the first baby, Trevor Jr. Trevor Jr., you may die. Whoa, what are you, like, spazzing out for? Whoa, calm down. What have you guys done to him? Look at him. Trevor Trevor Jr., listen to me, right? I might end up killing you one day for food, but just know, you are Trevor's first child, and you will never be forgotten. This moment will always be here on YouTube. Sorry, Trevor. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Whoa, she's mad. Trevor Lee's mad. Get away from me. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go. Trevor has got her first. Uh, Trevor has got his first child right there. And we're going to start a big family. Trevor is going to be the, the dad of them all. But let's get our eggs right here. And fire these in here. Maybe we can get some more chickens. I don't have any seeds on me. Otherwise, I would have bred this stuff over here. But guys, today's episode, what I want to do, I want to get this side of the farm finished. As you can see, I've done a bunch of prep work for it, but it's pretty much going to be exactly the same as the other side. So what I actually want to do for this episode, I want to get both sides complete. So this whole section is 100% complete for this episode. So I'm not going to show you every little bit of it. I'll probably cut 
give you updates and stuff and then we'll get the sheep and the horses in here as well and it should be pretty good we've got our cows got our chickens we're not going to have pigs i think i explained that to you guys before because you don't really need pigs every other animal in minecraft drops two or more items and pigs only drop one so they're pretty useless because beef is better than than um than steak is it steak no steak steak is better than the pork meat on minecraft like it fills you up better and plus you get leather when you kill cows chicken you get chicken meat you get feathers and you get eggs so you get three items from chickens sheep you get you get the lamb meat from sheep and you get wool so they're really useful and horses are just useful as well and you don't really need pigs because you get food from all the other ones so we're not going to have pigs anyway sorry pigs i don't mean to discriminate but we're not going to have pigs but let me show you the first bug that i found in my house kind of a bug not really a bug but look at this guys can you see this can you see all that dripping water dripping down into this area over here it's kind of annoying kind of bugging my ocd so what i want to do is i want to grab myself some quartz slabs i don't even know if i have some look i had all these ideas for these videos and i don't even know oh 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 yeah i do have some i have more than enough all right let me make as much as i need i don't really know how much i need but that hopefully should be enough right there so what i was thinking of doing to stop that dripping up there i want to kind of modify the swimming pool just a little bit before we go and work down on the farms because it's it's because this snow right here that you can see is the ceiling of the roof below and some people actually mentioned when i made this swimming pool like why don't you just remove the snow and make it all half slabs so it matches this little two block kind of thing right here the reason I can't do that is because the half of this swimming pool right here, as you just saw below, is the ceiling to the roof below. So if I destroy this part here, the ceiling downstairs will be half half slab. So it won't look right. It, it really won't. So what I decided to do here, guys, I think what I'm going to do is make this swimming pool like I'm going to give it a shallow end. So I think if I do this like that, if I cover this bit up, it also covers up half, like one block of the half slab. So that does a job there as well and then if i get blocks like this yeah we had enough we had more than enough that's perfect and then put these blocks there after what i have enough blocks i need to go get some more quartz like i seriously do all right let's put that there like that bam look we have a shallow end now it kind of destroys the ladder a little bit but that's a, that's what we have to do and that doesn't look too bad look we have a shallow end where it gradually goes down into the deep end as well now if we run downstairs now and ha actually have a look at the area that was dripping have we fixed it it'd be good if we have because it was bugging me guys i was coming over here farming getting some stuff and i was like what is this it's dripping water look at that fixed no more dripping water we need to get on the sugarcane and cactus farm one day we really need to do that i think i'll probably end up doing that in a stream because uh it's kind of annoying to do it in an episode sometimes because you get i get redstone wrong a lot and i get really frustrated so i tend to avoid doing redstone in an episode but before we go and work on the farm area downstairs guys there is one more thing that i need to show you and i know halloween was like uh last week yeah last monday halloween um zai left me a halloween present and i want to go check it out i forgot to check it out in the last episode i really did but i, I want to go check it out in this episode because i have no idea what it is let's go see it's over here look at it she left me a sign here it says this way for your halloween treat and i was like what is this and i asked her i said what is this she goes it's a witch's hat and i was like oh yeah it actually does look like a witch's hat is this wool oh she left me a lot of black wool that is amazing I actually need that black wall. Oh, whoa. I you could have gave me a better book. Come on. You're my fiance now, Zai. You could have gave me a better book than that. Projectile projection, but this is awesome. I needed slime blocks. She gave me a bunch of gold. Oh, I need diamonds as well. Nah, it's actually really awesome, guys. I'm just messing around. Two diamonds and two golden apples. That is a great present. Thank you. Thank you for your Halloween present. And something could have spawned in here, though something definitely could have spawned in there she could she could have lit it up a little bit but something could have spawned and killed imagine that that would have been the best halloween present ever i open up the chest and i'm like oh yeah this is amazing creep up bang that would have been so funny but guys yeah we got our halloween present now so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run back downstairs and we are gonna start work on the second half of the animal farm down there because i want that completely done i want that section of the house done because i do have some plans as you can see down there and i have some more plans 
for some more rooms down here as well so uh things are starting to take shape i've decided to add some more spaces to the house and it's going to be pretty interesting but i'm going to start work on this guys i am going to start doing the walls like we did there on this side and i'm going to start digging out this part so we can um put in the grass and stuff like that and then we can finally get our animals in so guys i will be back in a sec with our first update Right guys, we are back and I have finished all of the surrounded areas for the other side of the farm. The reason I didn't show any of it really guys is because it's exactly the same as what we've done over here. Now if I would have shown you me building all that, then that uh, this episode would be exactly the same as these episodes. So you already seen me build this stuff guys and uh, I've done this side. I have left this one over here because we're going to do something a little bit different for the horse area over there. But this sun is exactly the same as the cow area. I even built the same kind of like little shelter there for the cows. Now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is take Take this same design right and repeat that over here now um, because this is where the sheep are gonna go and the over here is where the horses are gonna go I do need some chests though I need to put some chests in here and I do need some carpet to cover up the glowstone as well the grass is growing a bit slow this is quite slow to be honest I only had three pieces of grass left and I used two on this side one on that side uh, one thing I do want to do though guys I want to count this because what is this right now this it is, it is, you have one and then two gap, one and then two gap. Okay. I want to see if it's going to fit in the way I want it to fit in. Let's see if we can measure it out because I want to do a little bit of a horse stable in here. Like uh, have some hay bells and stuff. I think that would look nice. Oh no, damn it. I forgot. I want to know how far it comes away from the wall as well. Why do I keep shutting the gate? I don't even need to shut it. There's no animals in there. There's fences on this side. I should put a fence on either side, shouldn't I? Or even on the middle. So how far does it come away from the wall? It's four. It's a four by four. It's a square. Four by four. Okay. Right. We can work this out. Because I want. I like this design. I think it's kind of simple. But it, it works for like storing animals and stuff. But I don't want it to touch the wall. Let's see if it actually fits in. So I'm going to come away from the wall. So you've got one there. You've got two gap. And then you've got one there. Like that. Then you have a two gap. And then one there. Two gap. One there. Two gap. One there, two gap, one there, two gap, one there. Okay, and then we've got a two gap on this side. Ooh, so, 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 so we need to work something out here. Let's move that one over. I need to put a torch down there because it's a bit too dark like that. And then let's put another one there. Okay, so we've got a a bit of a bigger middle one that's not too bad i guess we can work with that having a bit of a bigger middle one now how how high did these did i put these up i think it was definitely at least three wasn't it do i have any more yeah i have loads more um there we go and then put these up like this because what i want to do basically you know that kind of design we did there i want it to go all the way to the edge because this side's going to be the horses so i want it to kind of look like a stable on, on the inside of my house you know but because I've got a limited space to work with I can't do like the most extravagant stable do it, can I because remember the plan for this whole house guys was to have everything we need in the house we still need to work on a mine shaft and stuff like that we still need to do that stuff uh we're still gonna do that trust me i need i want to strip mine in my house that is definitely something that i want i keep forgetting where the gate is i keep forgetting where the gate is i just want to count how high these things go over here i think it's five isn't it it's hard to count from over here it is really hard to count um let me look at this so this back one is one two three four high and this one's one two three four five at the top okay so four and then five and then basically what i'm going to do is just extend the roof all the way across i might even leave a gap in the middle that might be kind of nice i'm not sure so what have we got here we have a three high so the back is four high do i have any dirt on me no i don't just cobblestone the back is four high and the top is five high so i'm gonna i'm gonna build this up maybe just on one side guys and then i will cut oh damn it you guys you guys get what i'm trying to do here right i'm pretty sure you get what i'm trying to do and so that goes up like like that and then what we're going to do which i don't have a crafting table i don't have anything i need on me right now anything i'm gonna break i'm gonna break the window so i can get to the crafting table um then we are going to have a bunch of these i should have enough because look how many fingers i got 
yeah right so guys what i'm going to do is basically copy this style over here and have it go all the way across and then we're going to get some hay bells and stuff and decorate the horse stable so i'll be back in a second right guys i'm basically done with this i just oh messed up there i just need to do a few more of the roof like this i didn't want to cut it all out completely it was just super frustrating to keep jumping up there so i just thought i'd just do that off camera quickly and if we do this you guys will get the idea of what i actually want so it's the same design so it actually matches the rest of the stuff that we have going on like this and i want to see if it's actually working out hmm so Here's the dilemma that I have, right? Do I keep this bigger middle part or do I have two sections either side? I'm kind of leaning towards keeping the middle part. Um, so let's make some fences because I definitely need some fences. Let's basically just turn all you guys into that. We've got some sticks there. I always forget how to make fences. I think it's sticks either side and then in the middle or is that a gate? That's a gate, don't need that. So we need to see sticks in the middle like that and then put this either side like that this should be enough i don't know maybe hopefully so what we're going to do with the fences this time and because i moved it over we've got a lot more room so these are basically going to be the horse stables the stable areas which i thought would look nice rather than just having a plain area yeah it's looking a lot better with yeah we can have a big stable in the middle i guess it's looking a lot better with the fences and stuff yeah we've got more than enough fences going on right here so what I want to do, especially with the stables, I want to put some like podzol in there. I want to get like some hay bales to put around because I want this to actually look like a horse stable because at the moment it doesn't really. Um, I was thinking, could I just see that does look nice, but can a horse fit through that? I think it can. I think a horse can fit through that. Can a hit horse fit through this? Hmm, let's try it. I'll try this. I'll try. I'll see if a horse can fit through that because I actually do like that with with them there i think that looks actually quite nice um so we've got a little stable going on right here so what we're going to do with the rest of it is when the grass grows and stuff we're going to bone meal like all this whoa that that gave me a lot of flowers <laughs> i didn't want that many flowers um we're going to bone meal it and stuff but i do have some wheat on me so we can actually make some hay bales can't we oh i should have broke that glass with my axe and i would have got it back is this all the wheat i have yeah gonna give me five hay bales let's see what they look like when i put it inside like this so if i like hmm that's not big enough is it so what what i could do is maybe just do just have it around like that yeah i think so i might just have it around just to like just to like make it look a little bit better can i break that yeah, I might just have it around just to decorate it and stuff like that. So I'm going to go grab some Podzol from upstairs. I hope I have some Podzol. I really do. I have no idea how long this episode has been going on for. I've actually been recording for like an hour where I was like doing all that stuff. Uh, because when you cut, when you record, you have no idea how long the episode's going to be. So you don't want it to be too short. You don't want it to be too long. You just you just keep on going. Right. Do I have any Podzol? I think I do one piece of pod soul. so i'm gonna make another cut guys i'm gonna i live in a tiger biome so i can go grab some pod soul because i got silk touch on this so i'm gonna go grab some pod soul. i am gonna get some make some hay bells and then we're gonna finish off the horse area and then we should be done with the farming part of the house right guys hay bells acquired now i think what i'm gonna do with this i think i'm gonna put hay bells around instead of leaves you know like i put in the other one like i put leaves i'm pretty sure do i have any glowstone left on me no i don't damn it i'm pretty sure hay bells let light through let's test that out i'm pretty sure they do like how dark is this when i am um... it's still pretty light so let's put that there does it get any darker when i do this does it let light through? I'm not sure if it actually does. What is the light level here? The light level is nine. But I'm not sure if that's from like these. No, it doesn't look like it lets light through. Ah, oh, okay. I was going to use it instead of leaves. So we might still leave some leaves. But I do want to put some hay bales around just to like lighten up, uh, make it look like a horse stable and stuff like that. Uh, I was thinking of maybe having one in there, but I don't think it looks right. I think these are too small with just like one in there like that. I think that looks okay for now. So there we go, guys. That is my somewhat horse stable. So I still need to work on the lighting and stuff in there, like get some glowstone for the floor. We need some more hay bales over here, but I want to wait for the grass to grow. 
we um, get some lighting for the floor and this side is pretty much going to be the same as the other side the grass is growing well on this side actually I need to bone mill all this and I need to put some leaves around there as well but the animal part of the house is completely done I've got two sheep upstairs that I'm going to bring down over here and you guys know I've got my horses all cooped up outside as well so I'm going to bring them down probably off camera and by the next episode we'll be done now I just wanted to finish that guys I just wanted to get the animal portion of the house completely done because I feel like we've been working on that for quite a while now that is done and then we can just add little bits here and there whenever we want let's turn off f3 for now and um yeah guys so what i think i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna end this episode here because i've been recording for a long long time uh, i didn't plan for it to be recording this long but that's just the way it goes when you're making this stuff doesn't it, it just you, you don't realize the time and it all and it goes on for super long so i am going to move these horses and stuff downstairs i do need to breed them i don't know what was wrong with them that time when i couldn't breed them and i need to move these sheep down there as well but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another episode on the chaos craft server